Love Yours was probably the biggest moment in my life. Five years later, I have a ton of songs out, you know, Grammy winning, worked with Jay-Z, Beyonce, Drake, Kendrick, I mean, everybody. Love Yours is still the most important song I've ever produced. I believe that it always will be. Love Yours. Love Yours. No such thing. No such thing as a life that's better than yours. No such thing as a life that's better than yours. Ill mind, love yours. Take one, Mark. One of the first things I think about when I sit and make music is how can I explore something I haven't explored before? It's really this process of trying stuff and having fun. So we got the track to J. Cole through my man, Money Making Matt. He just hit me up one day like, yo, I'm in the studio with Cole, what do you have? So I sent him like 15 beats and that was one of them. I flew out to LA and I hit Matt up and I was like, yo, what are you doing? He's like, yo, I'm in LA with Cole. So I pulled up and we were talking about the track and he's like, yo, Ill, you know, this, this track is, uh, you know, super special. I want to play you a snippet. You know, after he played it, I was blown away. That song sort of turned into the theme for the album. This beat started with the pianos. The pianos were done by Cardiac and Critical. The part that they sent me is the actual emotion. My job as a producer is to extract that emotion and to make it into reality. That's why it's so important to collaborate. Well, what happened with that track, uh, me and Cardiac, we was working on a sound kit for producers, all pianos and strings. And that day we did like 20 different tracks and we sent it to Ill Mind. So, you know, just to, so he could hear the kit. And he picked that one out. Like a month later, he had back and said, yo, J. Cole was on this record. It sounded dope. It was a positive message, man. I'm a positive person. So it feels good to be actually come out with records that could touch people in certain ways. Those guys are just super talented. So, you know, if you know Ill Mind, you know me, I'm really big on collaborating with other producers, and those guys were some of the first um, producers that I was able to collaborate with and, and really create a special song with, with Cole. With a piano loop like that, you can go in a multitude of different directions. But I really wanted the melody to sort of be the star of the show. Everything about it was just so emotional and so deep. And so just to add on to the human element, we have this string section. The strings were from Cardiac and Critical. So there's this like tension with that string. It's like very dark, but still very sort of bright at the same time and hopeful. And so when you combine the two, It just creates this like really crazy emotion. There was one more part that I knew I had to add on this. It's such a small part by itself, but when you play it with everything else, it's just so significant. It's really just one piano stab. You know, it's this very like dissonant, like resting note, but when you hear it on the one, it sort of like completes the thought another small detail that just makes all the difference. I had went to the studio after I heard the track and I mic'd up a grand piano and I just recorded that one note. The next part that I added here was this little drum fill that I really wanted to put in there to sort of like walk the beat in. I heard that drum fill, I knew it would be perfect. So I just really chopped it in half and time stretched it. So if you hear it, it's on the grid. The transition with the rest of the beat. I wanted to create a drum loop that can sound like someone was playing it live. And you know, when Cole performs this song, he has a live band. No such thing as a like this, better than yours. No such thing, no such thing. The first part of the drums was actually this little drum loop here um, that I got from my man Jake One. So I basically took that, time stretched it, and I took this little piece here that I labeled air to fill in those gaps.
there's just something special about the dirtiness of that, that if you were to clean that up, the sound, the track wouldn't sound the way it does. When you listen to the drum loop and you play along with it, it's kind of sort of makes sense. The beat at this point was really basically done. My process after this point was really just mostly ear candy, this little vocal hit here. That happens basically in the beginning of every four bars. I knew I wanted to build the beat up a little more, and so I added another. You know, it sort of elevates the track even more. So this grunt doesn't necessarily fall exactly on the on the grid, but it, it's those little human details that set this track apart and sort of give it that feel. We're moving into the hook, the strings come back in, but then you also hear this cool bass line, and it's really just three notes. I still use this like really old school vintage filter for the bass. Turn down the resonance a little bit and the cutoff. When you hear those chords with those bass, it just, all of it just sort of makes sense. And then this sound here, this is just like a little sweep sound that I also took from my man Jake Wan. Shout out to Jake Wan. Like if a drummer were to hit a crash uh, on the one, but in like a more textured kind of way. And then the third portion of the hook are these hi-hats. The whole idea of programming off the grid is something I learned from this producer, Jay Dilla, rest in peace. When you program drums on keys or on pads, you're giving the listener the true sort of like feel of your rhythm. I wanted to keep that going with these hi-hats. And so when I programmed them, it was really just a feeling. And then one of my favorite parts of the song, verse number two. I took the uh, drum loop out and just kept the program drums in there and, and that perfectly set up verse two. I knew that this track would be emotional. Um, I didn't want to overdo it. There's a beauty in the simplicity. If I were to overproduce this, I don't, I don't know if, if J. Cole would have been as inspired to write the song that he did. And so it was sort of this perfect storm. One of my proudest, proudest moments in my career. Heart beating fast, let a nigga know that he alive. Fake niggas, mad snakes, snakes in the grass, let a nigga know that he arrived. Don't be sleeping on your level cause it's beauty in the struggle, nigga. Beauty, beauty. The song changed my life too. It was a huge turning point for not only me and I'm sure for Cole, but for millions of people. There's multiple people that I've read about that reached out saying, yo, like this song changed my life. I've made it through some tough times with this record and it has more emotional value to me than any other song. The track is meaningful to me because it refreshes your memory that no matter what you might lack or fall short of, there's always someone out there with less. Love Yours is just about being appreciative of everything that you have and just knowing that timing is everything for the things that you want. Love Yours by J. Cole is one of the realest songs I've ever heard. I've seen Cole perform the track on several occasions now and it always makes me very emotional. Thank you, Cole. If that were to happen to one person, I would have been content with that. But the fact that it's happened to millions of people, potentially, is just something I don't have the words for. Two, six, Fayetteville, Fayette, now I fucking love y'all. My name is Jay Cole, Cole Will. It's been some legendary shit, man, until the next time, God damn it. Peace and love. Deconstructed, ill mind, love yours. Take two, Mark.